Good morning from Stage One Bass Pro Tour event uh, here at Sam Rayburn, Texas. It's an exciting time. Bass Pro Tour season kicks off today for me, and uh, really excited. We're on one of my most favorite fisheries in the country, Sam Rayburn. Practice was a, was a tough one, so I, I don't know what to expect today. Sam Rayburn's always been a good lake to me. Let's just go fishing. I'm hoping for a good start today. First day of the tournament rolls around and uh, immediately catch one. But unfortunately it was like a 115, so it didn't count. First little area I fished didn't pan out. I think there was 10 of the 40 guys fishing with inside of me. I decided at that point, I'm gonna take a little bit of a gamble. And I found some stuff the, the final day of practice. You know, fishing up real shallow, up around bushes and grass. And I finally catch a squirrel bass. Oh, that one'll make it. That one better be a two pounder. Two pounds, two ounces. Gosh, finally, finally on the board, two two. Believe it or not, even just one squirrel bass, I wasn't too far out of it. Yeah, get in here. That's what we're looking for. Just had to talk about them. Two pounds, fourteen ounces. Two fourteen. They're getting bigger. Then it started to click, and that final second half of that final period, I just started running stuff that looked good. Two pounds, five ounces. Two five. All right. There we go. Fishing cypress trees, buck brush, and the shallow hay grass up as shallow as you could be, and I'm guessing those were the males. Two pounds, three ounces. Two three. We'll take it. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Get in here. I went into this tournament fishing where I thought the fish should be coming to, and that was up shallow. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two eight. Basically, everywhere I caught fish were places that I didn't catch them in practice. The fish I was catching were what looked like all skinny males. At the end of the day, I, I had, I think, eight fish for 16 pounds. Never caught a three-pounder all day, but caught I think seven or eight squirrel bass and was sitting at 16 pounds and was in uh, ninth place for the for the first day. The next day I go back to where I finished up the day because where I finished up the day I'd caught like three or four decent ones so I thought I could go in there and start off where I finished and uh, and got in there fished all through that stuff 113, 115, you know everything I was catching the day before were better fish these were all little fish. Oh, come on, baby. So I'm catching these fish, none of them are counting, and I'm digging myself in a hole. At that point, I'm like, I gotta do something because I'm falling down the leaderboard, and now it's getting to the point where uh, I'm close to that Toro cut line, and that's not where I wanted to be. I finally pull out on a, on a little grass hump out that, you know, in about six foot of water. I pull out there. There's one right time. That might be what we were needing to figure out right there. Three pounds, 13 ounces. 313. Catch an almost four pounder on a bladed jig. How about that? Oh, man. In the third period, I'd gotten all the way down right to the cut line, so there was a chance of me falling out. At that point, I just went fishing again. I just went running the shallow water, the bushes, all that, and managed to just pick up a fish here, a fish there, and, and uh, literally with 18 minutes to go in that uh, final period, I, I caught one final two pounder. Two one, I'm not gonna argue with that. Good way to cap off the period. Got a little bit of momentum going anyway. Lo and behold, that two pounder was the difference of me making it or not. So uh, barely a scoreable bass, but barely scoreable enough to put me into uh, the uh, knockout round. I, I, I can't complain, I, I made it in there. I hadn't found this winning string or fish. I, I said, uh, on, the, on this day, I'm, I'm just gonna go pre-fishing again. So I had Bobby put me in up the lake. The first period had been tough for me every time. There were some flats that I saw in the morning as I ride around. I'm like, I'm gonna run down to those flats and and try it there. So I pull in there, out on the point of one of these deals. 
fish for maybe five minutes and immediately catch uh, almost a three pounder. There we go. There we go. It's gotta go fishing. Pounds, 10 ounces. 210, all right. There we go. Finally caught one in the first period. <laughs> I catch that fish and thought, you know, here I'm gonna run this pattern, run this grass. And I fish, fish, fish all around through this flat, nothing. So I decide to go back to that spot. There we go. Oh yeah, oh, yeah baby. There we go. Now that looks like a spawned out fish, if you ask me. Three pounds, 15 ounces. That one helps. Oh, yeah. A 314 or 315, my biggest fish, one right where that one, that one came from. Well, I end up staying there and I catch one more go. fish right before the end of the first period. So that I've got three fish That's now for nine pounds. I'm in like sixth more. place. So I thought I'd found one of those sweet spots and found a pattern that was going to get me through. Fish around a little bit and uh, eventually run out of time. So I, I spent the whole second period without a fish. And uh, little did I know that would be uh, the, the period that would haunt me. So that was kind of disappointing, but I could feel it just slipping away. And at that point, you know, I said, you know what, let's just go fishing. Okay, I run over to this windy bank and I just decided I'm just gonna run those windy banks like I did the first two days with a bladed jig. There's one little subtle pocket. I pull in there and I immediately catch a two pounder. That was about the last hour of the tournament. I run around. All I was doing was just fishing in little windy pockets with the hay grass and some bushes. I managed to catch two more scorable bass. I mean, I had a legitimate shot at that point to making it in, but unfortunately there was a couple more 115s, 114s, that uh, if those fish would have been two ones, two twos, I probably would have made it. With that being said, I mean, I never had a big bite all week, so that, that part was disappointing. I think I'm getting out of here with a 315 for my biggest fish, so not great for heavy hitters, but it is what it is. But for me this week, again, it's been all about the bladed jigs. I mean, just simple black and blue, chartreuse and white, green pumpkin, uh, the, the same Speed Demon Pro, Cast King Speed Demon Pro bladed jig rod, 7.3 with the uh, eight, to, eight to one gear ratio uh, Bassinator Elite reel. You know, 20 pound gamma fluorocarbon. It's a very simple setup. I love this 7.3 for closer contact fishing, I guess you'd say for, you know, getting it, skipping it under bushes and trees and all that. But something I've started doing this week is, uh, especially on a, on a bigger bladed jig, a half ounce or three quarter ounce, I've started throwing it on the uh, Speed Demon Pro swim bait. It's a 7.6 instead of a 7.3. So it just gives me a little bit more leverage. I can make longer casts with it and then I have more leverage for when those big fish hit it on a long cast that uh, you know that little bit extra longer rod allows you to take up line faster and horse those fish in on those long casts as well so uh, my bladed jig setups are, are basically the bladed jig rod but now i'm also including the uh, seven six swim bait in there you know the bladed jig rod is great for bladed jigs spinner baits buzz baits uh, all that it's just got that right soft tip to it but then same thing, this 7-6 this swim bait is basically the same action of rod, but just three inches longer. And uh, both of these setups have just been amazing. I'm ready to catch fish on some different techniques, but at the same time, if it's not, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So uh, if I keep going to, to different events and these fish keep biting it, I'm gonna keep throwing it. You know, like I said, I wish I was fishing tomorrow, but we came up a little bit short and uh, all we can do now is uh, pack everything up head home and get ready for heavy hitters. So looking forward to heavy hitters uh, here in a couple weeks. That's going to be a great event and uh, got out of here with a 14th place finish at Sam Rayburn. So we'll take it and a good start to the year.